Hey everybody, today I wanted to do a quick video on price spikes and when you should leave a position. Uh, I was going to do this at some point, but I had a couple of really good examples pop up over the last few weeks, so I thought there was no better time than the present. Uh, for this we're going to be looking at two particular stocks, Corsair Gaming and Smith & Wesson, because both had huge price spikes and both did very different things. So we're going to start with Corsair and why you do need to exit a position sometimes when a price spikes. Uh, so if we look at our chart here over the last month, we see that on the 14th, which was a Monday uh, a couple weeks ago, Corsair spiked and finished at about $36 after starting the day well below that at about, I believe, $32.50, somewhere in that range, and it hit an intraday high of around $42. Now, in this example, this is something that you you would want to leave when you see the price spike. Now, why is that? If we go over and look at our news for Corsair, we can see that around that time, about that time ago, there was no news, there was no nothing, there was no earnings for Corsair, it just randomly spiked. If we look at their earnings, we can see that their last earnings was in May and their next earnings is gonna be in August, so there was no financial information coming out. If we go back and look at our news, we can see th there was nothing amazing coming out. They weren't being acquired by someone. They weren't launching a new product line. All of this trading just happened to be noise. So whenever I see something that big, for me, a price spike is anything over a 5% change in a day. Whenever I see that, I'm going to be very concerned. I'm going to start looking at news. I'm going to start looking at financials because in my mind, what's going is, okay, what is happening here that I missed? Is there something I didn't see happening? What is this? Do I, do I need to see something here? If I see something more than 5%, I'm going to get out. In this case, I did hold Corsair at the time, and I did sell a very large amount of my position position for a nice little gain because I paid attention and saw that there was no news that this was very likely a temporary thing and as we can see it very much was as within a couple days it fell right back down to where it began now that isn't always going to be the case sometimes those spikes without anything backing up are going to last for a while but more often than not more than 50 percent of the time when you see a spike like this it's going to drop right back down so take your profits while you can if you have the opportunity now if we look over at our second example of when you shouldn't be leaving the position we'll look at smith and wesson now on the 17th they had their earnings and lo and behold their price jumped on the 18th which was the following friday the 17th being a thursday and then continued to increase now why did we not get out of this position again because we had news we had financials we had earnings smith and wesson had a record quarter they had a record year we have these earnings that tells us that the spike that happened is supported by something. There's a reason for this happening, which means there's a much lower chance that it's going to drop right back down. If we combine that with a bunch of news, such as ammo shortages and other and political climate, we can we can really we can make a good educated bet that this spike is much more organic, it's much more natural, it's going to last a lot longer. Again, I have a large position in Smith & Wesson. When I saw, I pay attention to the earnings on all of my positions, but when I saw the earnings, I immediately started going looking at news, seeing other things. There are a bunch of analyst upgrades. Not that analyst opinions actually matter, but it drives the masses to buy certain things. So when, you're, when you see price spikes, for me it's 5%. For you it might be a different number. It really doesn't matter. But whenever you see a spike in price, the first thing you need to look at is news. Then you need to look at financials and anything like that. Uh, if you don't see anything like that, it's probably a good idea to think about selling your position because you're probably going to drop right back down. If you do see a lot of things like that, it's probably a good idea to hold the position as it has support for those new numbers, that new price spike. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.